Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Uh, this is Laqid Zaman and we are going through Al Fawz Al Kabir. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the first lesson. Inshallah, we're going to try to continue with what we mentioned last lesson just to so that everyone gets a recap of what this uh, lesson is basically talking about. So, um, like we said, Shaulila Rahimahullah, the author of this book, has basically listed the ayats or categorized the ayats into five categories now. So we have ilm al ahkam, those those ayats which are related to the science of laws, ilm al mukhasama and jidal, those sciences related to debating with uh, deviant groups like the Jews and Christians and mushriks, idol worshippers and munafiks and the hypocrites. Number three, ilm at tafkir bi ala illa, the those ayats which are related to the bounties of Allah. Number four is ilm at tafkir bi ayamillah. And this is the those ayats which are related to the past events, past nations, things that happened in the past. And number five is ilm at tafkir bil mawt and the science or the ayats which are related to uh, things that are going to happen at death and after death. So let's quickly just have a recap of this. And you guys can also try maybe, you know, to join in as well, maybe. You know, um, have a go. Uh, choose a surah. So let's start with the surah. Let's start with surah and naml. Right, so this is surah and naml. Okay. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Taseen. Tilka ayatul qur'ani wa kitabin mubin. So, first of all, tilka ayatul uh, ayatul qur'an. So let's put this, try to put this side by side so that we can get a better so here maybe a bit easier okay so you have over here uh, this verse over here so those are the signs of the quran the verse in the quran and a clear book so if you can actually go and you can use an english translation that's totally fine we don't really need to know arabic to be able to do this exercise uh, which which topic would it fall under? So this first ayah, those are the verses in the Quran and a clear book. Would it fall under rulings? Would it fall under debating with with other groups? Would it go under the bounties of Allah? Would it go under reminding people about the past nations? Would it go under things to do with death and after death? So it seems as though this is re- referring to the bounties of Allah. Ayat al kitab kitab That this seems to be something which is. Um, a bounty from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hudan wa bushra al mu'minin. Guidance and glad tidings, good news for the believers. Again, it's not rulings. It's not really kind of debating with anyone. It's more to do with the signs of Allah. right? The signs of Allah, the bounties of Allah that Allah has given to people. So the Quran being a guidance itself, it being good news for the believers. الَّذِينَ يُقِيمُونَ الصَّلَاةَ وَيُؤْتُونَ الزَّكَاةَ وَهُمْ بِالْآخِرَةِ هُمْ يُقِنُونَ الَّذِينَ يُقِيمُونَ الصَّلَاةَ Those who um, establish prayer, يُؤْتُونَ الزَّكَاةَ They give zakat, and in the hereafter they have full certitude. So again, this seems to be something which is related to um, the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also maybe there's a touch of ahkam in there as well, rulings, like praying and also giving zakat. Him having belief in the hereafter again, maybe it's an indication towards signs of Allah and hereafter. Bil akhirah to do with tafkir bil maut wa ma baadhu that which is coming after death. Inna aladina la yu'minun bil akhirah zayyana lahum a'mal lahum fahum yamahun. Ah, so now because it's mentioned this, it seems as though these verses can also maybe fall under muhasama as well now, right? Because we we're kind of like talking about. Uh, some sort of like benefits as well. Uh, so this is why, you know, maybe may I'll fall under uh, under debating as well. Ula indeed those people who do not believe in the hereafter. Again, it's talking about the debating now. Those people who don't believe in the hereafter. More specifically, Christians and Jews believe in the hereafter. Mushrikun and munafiqun, they don't. Zayyanna lahum a'malahum. We have adorned for them their actions. And so their actions, they believe that their actions are very good. For whom ya'mahun, and they are wandering blindly. So again, it's about the debating. Allah is reminding the believers of what these people are actually doing. 
Those are the ones for them is a su'ul uh, azab, an evil torment, uh, a despicable torment. Wahum fil akhirati, and in the hereafter, humul akhsarun, they are the losers. Again, it's talking about the debating, plus talking about the hereafter, it's talking about a tafkir bil maut, humul ba'dhu. Right, so. Are you guys getting this? Are, are you guys following it? Is it making sense to you guys? If it is, put in the comments, inshallah. Let me know what you guys think of this as well. You know, is it something which is useful to you guys, beneficial to you guys? Okay. Um, then, uh, okay, let's do a little bit more. وَإِنَّكَ لَتُلَقَّ الْقُرْآنَ مِنْ لَدُنْ حَكِيمٍ عَلِيمٍ Indeed, you, O Messenger of Allah, la tulaqqal Qur'an, are receiving the Qur'an min ladun from Hakim, a wise and alim or knowledgeable one, which is obviously referring to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this would fall under debating as well, because it's a kind of like uh, introduction to debating or maybe some early premises for debating. And also it would refer to the bounties of Allah, that from Allah, the Hakim, the alim, it's coming from him. Right, so it's talking about that. Um, right, so this is to referring to that. And the other one, إِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِأَهْلِهِ Remember when Musa said to his family, إِنِّي أَنَسْتُ نَارًا Indeed, I can sense fire. سَآتِيكُمْ I will bring, bring to you minha from it بِخَبَر Some news. أَوْ آتِيكُمْ Or I will come to you بِشِحَاب قَبَسٍ uh, With a, um, a torch or a flame. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَسْتَلُونَ So that you may use it as, as fire. So this would fall under number four, Tathkir bi ayamillah, referring to past events. So this is a past event, past story. So this is referring to that. And from this, we learn lessons about the past. Okay, so I think uh, that w that's enough for, for, for today. Uh, so have a go yourselves, try and choose a surah in the Quran, try to go through it and try to fit on yourselves. You're not gonna always you know, you're not, you're not always going to find an ayah which is totally going to fit onto one of these. You might find one that fits half onto number one and maybe half onto number two and so forth. So give it a go. Let's see what you guys come out with. Jazakumullah khair. Thank you very much. And I will see you next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you very much to all my patrons. Jazakumullah khair. Alhamdulillah. You know, with all of your support, with all of your uh, efforts and, and your encouragement and motivation alhamdulillah this channel has reached where it has today um, and there's so much left that I want to do and there's editing and there's you know trying to start new projects as well and get other people involved so that I can focus on producing content um, so you know if you guys want to become patrons and you want to support this channel then check out the link in the description inshallah there's also videos available for those who are patrons um, in the in the Patreon itself that I don't put on my normal YouTube channel. So if you guys want to check that out, inshallah, links in the description, like I said. And Jazakumullah khair, share it with other people. Let me know what you guys think as well. And Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.